I'm Debbie from the home of interiors.co.uk and this video is going to talk you through measuring a bay window for a silent gliss made to measure curtain track. A silent gliss made to measure curtain track will be bent and made to your measurements and angles in our factory and this video is going to talk you through and the best way to measure and some hints and tips. First of all download our bay window measuring form from our website um, if you go onto the Silent Gliss Track pages and click on the um, Bay Window Measuring tab, um, there is a link there to download the form. Once you've downloaded the form, you will see that there's all shapes um, and different um, number of sided bay windows. So pick the one that best suits your requirements and then that's the measurements that you need to supply to us. Um, so please fill in the form. And once you've completed the form, um, you can either email it to sales at thehomeofinteriors.co.uk um, if you'd like us to check your measurements, or if you're happy and ready to order, and um, you can upload the um, bay window measuring form to your order. Once an order is, is placed, um, or we receive a bay window measuring form, we will run the measurements through our software to check that they all make sense mathematically, so we will be giving them um, a double check. Firstly, you'll need to decide where you're taking your measurements. Um, so the majority of cases, people measure along the walls. Um, so, and our, the software that we use will project for the brackets. So once the track is installed on the bracket, as you can see, if this was on the wall, the track sits slightly you know, further away from the wall um, to allow for the bracket to fit. Um, there are different size brackets um, for each track. Um, so please look at the bracket dimensions tab on the track page for the measurements. These are the universal brackets, um, which have different projections. So this is the standard. We have the long and then the extra long. So if you need your track to sit further away from the wall and um, to clear a windowsill or a radiator, for example, then specify the longer bracket. But all the dimensions are on the website on the bracket dimensions tab. Um, so most people measure along the walls and then the software that we use projects for the brackets and there's different projections, as I've said, um, for different tracks and also for different um, style of curtains. So if you're going for a wave curtain, for example, um, the software will project the track further away from the wall so that the folds on the wave sit nicely without rubbing on the walls. Um, for wall fixing, um, we really do need the wall measurements and then we make the projections for the bracket. Otherwise, it's very difficult for you to accurately measure where the track exactly is going to sit. Um, so for wall fixing, please supply the wall measurements and then we will make the, um, the adjustments. If, however, you're ceiling fixing, um, you can it, it's preferable still to supply the wall measurements and we can either apply the standard ceiling fixed bracket um, projection or you can let us know how far away from the walls you would like the track to sit. So, for example, again, if you've got a deep window sill, you may wish for the track to sit 10 centimetres away from the wall, for example. And that measurement will be from the wall to the back of the track. If we're making the standard deduction and you've supplied wall measurements, um, it's typically about 35 mil, something like that, but again, please do check um, the website. Um, or for a wave curtain, it would be more to allow for those folds. Um, and this is a top fixed bracket, so I'll just show you. We just need to ensure that there's enough room for that bracket to be fitted um, without, um, without any problems. Um, so again, the track will sit slightly off the wall just to enable the brackets to fit. Alternatively, you can supply the back of track measurements. Um, but you would need to template out the track on the ceiling um, and, and then give us those measurements as if they're back of track. But if you need any help or advice, please do get in touch. The next thing you need to decide is um, where you're going to measure. So the measurements that we need um, are the side facets. So each of the side window, each of the side walls is called a facet. Um, so we will need to, to know the measurement of each of the um, walls and then either cross diagonal measurements or angles, and we'll come onto those in a little while. So the best way to measure the side facets, and we put some masking tape in green just so that you can see it, um, on our walls, and we would mark um, a dot where we're gonna take the measurement points from and to, the same distance off the floor on each of the pieces of tape. Um, the tape's purely there just so that you don't mark your walls. Marking, putting a dot um, to mark where you're going to measure from and to is really critical to ensure that, all, ensure that all the measuring points remain the same. So for example, when you're measuring point A to B, which is the side facet here, that point A measurement stays exactly the same for your cross diagonal measurement and your measurement across the front of the bay. 
For measuring, um, it's best to use some step ladders so that you don't overreach. Um, and if your um, windows are particularly long, um, it, you may need two people just so that one person can hold the tape measure and the other person can measure at the other end. So take your points from, from where you've marked on your masking tape, so A to B, then the centre of the bay, B to C, and then the same on the right hand side, which is C to D. Note those measurements down. These can either be in millimetres or in centimetres to one decimal place. Next, we will need either the cross diagonal measurements or your angles. Um, if you have an angle measure, that's great, um, and you can supply the angles. Um, if not, we do have the silent glaze angle measurers, which are really easy to use, that we can pop in the post um, so that you can measure, take the angles yourself. Um, please email the sales at thehomeofinteriors.co.uk um, to request one is popped in the post for you. And there is a separate video that um, I've done on how to use the angle measurer. With regards to the cross diagonal measurements, um, it is best for two people um, to take these measurements for, the, for accuracy and use a metal tape measure um, and simply measure um, the points as shown on the diagram for your bay. So in this case, our A to C measurement would be from this point here, from the outer edge to the inner um, corner, and then likewise the other side, that's from D to B. Or you can supply the angles. In both cases, we then need the baseline measurement. And this is the measurement across the very front of the bay. Um, on a three-sided bay, it is the A to D measurement. So from A, and then you imagine an imaginary line all the way across to D. Um, that measurement um, is worked out mathematically um, with the software that we use, and is a great sanity check to make sure that all the measurements make sense mathematically um, and that everything is looking correct. Alternatively, if you supply the angles, please also supply the baseline measurement and for that check to take place. If you have a square bay, and by this I mean 90 degree corners, we simply need the length of the, the facets, um, each of the sides, um, and then you can just mark on 90 degrees. The measurement across the front, the baseline measurement, should correlate to the measurement across the back, which would be the B to C measurement, um, if it's a square bay. Um, so, but just mark on 90 degree angles. Sometimes um, clients would like the curtains to sit on the side walls, and these are called returns. Um, so these sit outside the bay and are the, what is called the return walls. In, in this instance, we wouldn't be able to do this because of the sloping ceiling. Um, but where you've got straight ceilings um, and walls that, that are slightly larger than, than these, um, you may wish for your curtains to sit on these return walls. Um, so please provide those angles and length of the um, returns as well. The angle measurer, the silent disc angle measurer measures, measures internal and the external bends. So these would be called an external bend for the, for the um, track to sit outside. If you would like your curtains, for example, to sit halfway along one of your side walls, there's two ways you can measure that. You could either measure the full bay right to the edge, and then when we know the angles and we've looked at all the measurements and they're all correct and within tolerance, um, we could make some deductions to the length of the side facets, so to make the track slightly shorter for you so that the curtains sit halfway along your side wall, for example. Alternatively, you could move your, um, point, your, your, your masking tape in and measure, take the measurements from those points, um, so whichever you prefer. Once you've completed measuring, um, you do need to input the total track length on the website um, to be able to order um, the track at the correct length. So simply add up the side facets, so just the side walls, the centre walls, add those all up and that is your total track length. So just input that into the box on the website when ordering. Um, so just to recap on some of the tips, um, always ensure that your measuring points are the same, so that where you've marked on your wall to measure point A to B, Point A remains the same if you're taking the cross diagonal and then the baseline measurement. Um, we recommend a metal tape measure is used and um, for accuracy. We recommend step ladders and possibly two people depending on the size of your bay um, and but particularly taking cross diagonal measurements, two people is best. And finally it's best to measure um, you know, where you're going to install the brackets. Um, so at the top, sort of at the top of your window or um, as high to the ceiling as you can get if you're going to be ceiling fixing. Um, that's just to assume that walls, ceilings, floors aren't straight 
Um, so it is best to measure where you're going to install the track rather than along the skirting board or along the windowsill, for example. Please get in touch if we can help with, or give any advice with measuring your bay window. Um, it's great if we see um, a photograph of your bay, so please do email a photo in um, to sales at thehomeofinteriors.co.uk or please call us on 01590 615 775 and we'd be like, delighted to help. We hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have, please do give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to be kept up to date with new product news and information um, and useful hints and tips. Thank you very much for watching.